Jesus is our perfect example of what it means to be humble, to think of ourselves in the right way, to relate to one another in the way that God has called us to relate as people who understand the power of humility. He says, there's two men, a Pharisee and a tax collector, and the Pharisee stood by himself and prayed. So notice the prideful person doesn't even get around other people, but stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people. Notice all the eyes here. I'm not like robbers or evildoers or adulterers or even like that tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give a tenth of all I get. Do you hear the prayer? It's all about me. What can I do? Look at what I've done, God. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast, a sign of contrition, and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Simple little prayer. And Jesus said, I tell you that this man, the humble one, rather than the other, the prideful one, went home justified. That's a big theological term. Justified, made right with God. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Do you offer unsolicited advice to others about how they could or should live their lives better? If someone tells you a joke or tells a story, do you feel compelled to top it with a better one? In the company of others, do you often find yourself offering better examples or better suggestions or better solutions than those presented? Do you feel compelled to demonstrate your, how smart you are, how much you know based on your experience? Are you a backseat driver? When somebody makes a mistake, how do you respond? If you have an opinion, do you participate in a win-lose debate until everyone agrees with your opinion? Or do you listen and allow dissenting opinions to be considered? These are really important questions. 